All right, y'all, let's get our Microsoft Teams files in order. It can be a hot mess, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorite tips and tricks to get you organized and not lose all your stuff. So let's hop on over to the computer. Hey everyone, so today we are gonna be going over keeping your files organized and on point in Microsoft Teams. Okay, let's talk about where your files are even located in Teams. So the first place that you can go to look for files is over here on the left. I'm gonna select files, and this will show me every file that I have recently interacted with. So you can get to all your files here. Now, my preference is actually to view this in the Teams that I'm in. So I'm going to select Teams, and then each individual Teams site, every channel has their own files. So if I went to General, I could go here under my files, and I could see a bunch of different files. If I go under Announcements, and then I go to my files, I can see another set of files that are completely different from the first one. So that is one way for you to interact with your files. Now another way to get to your files is by connecting to your PC. And I actually really love doing this. I think it makes it so much simpler for you to be able to move things around on your file explorer and just being able to save directly to the file that you want it to go to. So if you notice in my Microsoft Teams over here, I have announcements, and then I have team emails, training templates, and so on. This is my file explorer, and as you can see, I have the same exact files. So templates, travel, content planning, org chart, all of that in the exact same spot. The only difference is that this is my file explorer, view and this over here is my Microsoft Teams view. So super easy way to keep all of your files synced, easy to save, and a one-stop shop. Okay, so let's talk about some of my favorite tips for keeping your files organized. One of the things that I really like using is emojis in my naming conventions. For me, it makes it stand out. It's easier for me to read and organize, super simple, and it's just an emoji. You can also use numbers or emojis, whatever your preference. The one thing that I will say is that Microsoft will prioritize in alphabetical order unless you use emojis. So let's say that in this example, I want these files to be at the top versus just in alphabetical order. So you can really organize your files in a unique way. Once you've done that, you have a few options on how you want to view your files. So right now I am viewing all of my files in a list. And I do that over here on the top right. And if I select all documents, I can see that I'm viewing my compact list. If I go to list up here, it sort of expands it a little bit. And then your other option is to view by tiles. If you're a visual person, I think viewing by tiles is a great way to see all of your files in one spot. Okay, so let me show you one of the other things that I really like doing when I'm working with my files is if I'm gonna go back to my list view, and then let's just say that there are some files that I want to pin to the top. These are files that I use all of the time. So I'm going to go over here and let's just say my content planning. I'm going to click on it and then select pin to the top. And then maybe I want to add the templates and pin that one to the top. And we'll just select one more. Now you can do this um, with files or you can do it with actual documents, either one. Oh, I've pinned too many. Let's get rid of this one. And then let's just actually pin a document. So as you can see now, I have two folders and a file that I've pinned to the top. So this is a great way to organize your files, the ones that you're actively using or you want your team to actively use at the top and then a list of file folders and documents on the bottom. So let's start organizing some of these files. One way that you can do that is click on the three dots or the ellipsis 
and I can just select move. It's going to open this up and ask me where do I want to move it to. I'm going to say content planning and then select move. If you do not have a ton of files that you'd like to move, this is an easy way to do that. The other way that I can do that is I can select multiple ones. So all of these that have an email icon, I'm going to move up here to my team emails. So if I wanted to move multiple ones, I could just select all of them, then click on the ellipsis, select move, and then I'm going to say team emails and select move. So that's another way if you want to move multiple documents into a folder at one time. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how you can actually open this up in SharePoint. If you have a lot of decluttering that you can do, I actually prefer to do it in SharePoint or on my file explorer. So let's get into that. So if you look at the very top right over here, I can say open in SharePoint. So I'm going to select that. And now it's going to open up this document library in my SharePoint versus the Teams interface. So as you can see, the document folders that I had up there earlier that I pinned are right here. And then I still have all of my files down here. So now that we're in our SharePoint move, decluttering our files and moving things around becomes really easy. So let's just say that I want to quickly go through here and I'm going to do a fast and furious declutter session. And I can just very quickly click on a file. This one is digital wallpaper. And let's just say that I want to move that to content planning. I just have to drag and drop it. I'm going to go to my categories and do the same thing. And I really can just move this all around. Super simple. I don't have to worry too much about it. Just kind of go in here and move them where I need to be. And I am done. Really easy. The next thing that I really like doing when I'm decluttering my files, let's just say I'm going to go into this templates folder and I want to rename these, right? So an easy way for me to do that is select edit in grid view. And I can really quickly just go in here and I'm going to change the name on this one. So I'm going to get rid of all of that. And then I just want to say intro to OneNote. And then when I click out of it, it's automatically changed. Let's just say this one, I want to change this and I want to say mastering teams. And this one I want to get and change to task management. So I'm going to select exit grid view. And then now all of my files have been named super easy. And then, oops, I forgot one. So I can actually click the ellipsis. And then now I have all of these options that are available to me. And right here, I'm going to select rename. And I'm just going to say Outlook Hacks. Now I have renamed all of my files in just a few seconds. Another way that I like to manage all of my files is if I have a deck or a document that's really important and I want to track when other people have made changes to it, I can make an alert so that Microsoft notifies me if someone has made any changes. So let me show you how to create alerts for files. So what you do, let's just say I want to create alert for this Outlook Hacks. I'm going to hit my ellipsis and then I'm going to go down here to alert me. And then these are all of the changes. So it's going to ask me what is the document that I want to be alerted for. I want to get it to my email, but let's just say that I also want to add Nicholas. I want him to get notified for changes as well. So I'm going to put him in there. And then I can get an email or a text message. I'm going to leave it as an email. Then you can decide out of these options when you want to be alerted. I'm going to say I want to be alerted when someone else changes a document. When do I want the alert sent? I actually just want it on a daily basis and I want it to be at 10 a.m. And then I select OK. Now, anytime someone goes into this PowerPoint, deck and makes a change, I'm going to get a notification every morning at 10. If someone made a change, I can always go in here and easily follow it up. So it's a great way to keep track of your files. Okay, so we did a little bit of decluttering and on SharePoint. So now to see the changes, 
I'm gonna just go up here and refresh it. And all of these are going to go away and go in the folders that we added them to. So now you can see this is a much cleaner view of all of my files. It's really easy. Now let's just show you how to create a few files and folders just so you can practice it. So I'm gonna go right here at the top and I'm gonna select new and then I'm gonna go down to folder. To add an emoji, I'm gonna hit the Windows key and then the period. So I'm on Windows 11, so this is what it looks like when I pull up my emojis. So I'm gonna search for a document. I'm gonna select this one. And now I'm gonna say documents for review. So for me, this is a really easy way to visually connect with my files and allow my brain to sort of connect when I see that file folder that has the document that these are documents that I need to review. So let's do one more. I'm gonna actually click on the ellipsis and I'm gonna rename this folder and I am going to do a number two instead. So I'm gonna hit the windows and the period and I'm gonna search for the number two. I'm gonna use this one right here. Give it a space, hit save. And now I have my content planning and let's just say that I changed my mind and I want my documents for review to be a number three. So let's rename that. I'm gonna go over here and do the windows period and type in the number three, select my emoji and hit save. The last thing that I want to show you is the ability to check out files directly in Microsoft Teams. So we're going to go back here to this Outlook Hacks. I'm going to click on the ellipsis and then I'm going to scroll all the way down here to more and then choose check out. So this is going to allow me to work on the Outlook Hacks document and check it out so other people cannot be working on it at the same time. This is great if you are doing a final review or in some way managing your files when you don't want other people collaborating at the same time. So now you can see that I have this file checked out because there is this little icon. If I want to check it back in, I do the reverse. So I click on the ellipsis, go down here, and I can say check in or I can discard my checkout. So I'm going to select discard checkout. I'm gonna say yes. And now we can go back to multiple people being in the document at once, all collaborating. Okay guys, I wanna know what your favorite tips and tricks are that I shared today. Make sure you comment below. If you're interested in more Microsoft content, um, check it out. See you on that video.